Are you sick and tired of tedious cable management? Are you frustrated that power isn't getting around your camp, making you angry? Then fear not, for I, the splendiferous Captain Beardy, have the solution for you. Voltex Wireless Generator. 300 times better than sex, with fewer calories. Yes, that is right, ladies and gentlemen. I am going to be teaching you something that does, in fact, have less calories than sex. I'm going to teach you how to make a wireless generator. I figured this out today, and by the way, I'm jumping around my camp so you can't see that it's any trickery or anything like that. This is 100% legit, okay? It works. It's fucking beautiful. I fell in love with it, and as soon as I invented it, I got a raging boner. So it's beautiful. Um, but it is a wireless power source, okay? I have only tested this with the small ones. I do plan on testing it with the big ones. But let me show you how to do it. So I put some lamps down to show that A, there is no power going to them and there is no generator nearby spewing out power. What you want to do, take your generator. I'm using this one because most people have this one, but I prefer to use the noiseless generator. And what you want to do is you want to take that conduit junction and put it so the end of the little uh, tube is about just halfway over the middle of the generator itself and then attach the power radiator. Now, you've pretty much figured out, you could just leave it like this, connect it up, voila, there you go, you have wireless power generation. But, if you do the glitch that allows you to put things inside of objects, which I'm showing you how to do right now, what you want to do is you, you want to find a piece of land where you can actually sink it into the ground, pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down, and it'll sink in. Anything that's on top of the object will sink in, okay? Uh, and this right here is the little bit of the annoying thing. The wire keeps connecting to where it previously was so if you want to put it in somewhere you have to kind of like skirt it across the floor but this is the main thing okay once you've done this you will notice that it is not radiating power simply pick up and put straight down the junction uh, uh, the radiator sorry and it'll work okay don't pick it up and then move stand still pick it up immediately press it to reconnect it again and you will generate power also try and make sure you're on flat ground when doing it, it it's a little bit janky on angled ground. I got lucky there. Um, but yes, I prefer to use this one because this generator makes no noise whatsoever, okay? It's beautiful. And I'm pretty sure it's actually in the atom shop right now, so I would suggest possibly going over there and getting it, okay? Uh, but this one you have to you have to be a little bit careful with. It's, it's longer, so what you want to do is you want to move the conduit, so the actual generator part, the uh, sorry, the actual radiator part sticks out, so you can grab it a lot easier. And then as you can see, sink it into the ground, pick it up, by the way, make sure you connect the wires before you do that step because you can't connect the wires after unless you've got like god level, you know, placement with your, your cursor. And the cool thing about this is you can slide it in tiny gaps, okay? And the reason I prefer to actually have it sink in is to just to make it a little bit more sleeker, a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more sexier. Um, but the only drawback from this is the fact that power radiators don't radiate power over a wide area. Uh, and what you can actually also do with this is instead of putting on the power radiator, you can connect another adapter and use this generator to carry like a, a conduit around your base. Instead of like having it stuck on your roof or on your ground, or you just want a simple basic bit of conduit that you don't want attached to your building, you can do it this way. Uh, and as you can see, I'm showing the radiation, uh, the radiation, uh, the radius of the generator itself. It doesn't have a wide one. As you can see, as I move it around, it's not turning on the blue lights uh, at a certain distance. But if you move it closer, uh, it, it does it does manage to get the lights. Oh, and always remember this, when moving the generator a great distance, pick up and put down the radiator so it will radiate power. But you can just see, it's got a pretty decent radius. Um, I would probably need two of them. But you can do something else that I realized with this, and that is once you've got one set up, stick a lamp on top of it or a light or anything like that, and you have a portable light. So if you're setting up a military camp that you know you want to you want to design around a military camp and you don't want to have wires trailing everywhere, there you go. It's t it's free wireless. Oh, it's not free, but it's wireless power. Okay. No, the only wire needed is the wire connecting from the generator to the actual conduit that you sink into the thing, so you have no wires anywhere whatsoever, and it makes this absolutely beautiful, beautiful, sleek, slim piece of generator and I do like the fact that you know you can also attach lights to these things it's absolutely beautiful take it do what you want with it use it however you want just remember the main thing always pick up and put down that conduit when you move it a, a great distance uh, but there you go wireless power first video on YouTube showing wireless power like this 
Um, enjoy it, man. Take it. Go Run free with it. Do whatever you want. Get funky with it. It's awesome. I love it. Uh, if you do actually use it in some fun ways, let me know. Send a, a, a little tweet over to my Twitter or post a comment and have a bit of fun, okay? It's beautiful and really, it's, it was amazing stumbling across this. Uh, I love it whatsoever. But there you go. You guys know the drill. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. But until next time, stay awesome. <laughs>